Huh? Yes. Yeah, today's the biomimicry day, right? Wait, what do you mean not that type of biomimicry? No, I'm not I'm not dressed up as a slug. That would that would be stupid. Alright. Give me five minutes. You need to talk more about biomimicry. So far on this channel, we've talked about how elephants inspired robotic arms, how sea slugs inspired glue, how termites inspired architecture, and how. What was the last one? Oh, and how whales inspired more efficient wind turbines. So today, now we're going to talk about how barnacles inspired glue. And again, this all falls under what is called biomimicry, which is where scientists use animals and nature to inspire the stuff they create in the lab. Because nature way better at doing so many things than we are. And this includes barnacles. So just last week in my tide pool quilting video, by the way, I have semi regained my sanity from that. I talked about how animals that live in a tide pool have to be specially adapted to those really difficult circumstances to live in. And one of those being the fact that the water is constantly rushing in and out. So those animals need to be able to stick to the rocks and withstand being hit by all of those waves. So they are really sticky. One of those animals that was one of the stickiest was barnacles. Barnacles can stick to anything, docks, piers, rocks, even whales, they'll grow on whales. Like humpback whales, you see barnacles growing on them. And they can do this underwater. Scientists, again, really bad at sticking things together underwater. <laughs> barnacles can stick in a situation that's already wet, so like on a wet rock, or even places that are covered with algae or other types of substances that would prevent things from sticking in the first place. Something very similar to a tide pool situation in terms of difficult of adhesiveness is the human body. The human body is a very wet place, especially on the inside. Our organs are all covered with bodily fluids. That's a terrible term. And it's hard for scientists to come up with glues, surgical glues that can be non-toxic, but can also stick to your organs and keep them together. Or even just an external skin wound that has a lot of blood coming out of it, hard for a band-aid to stick to it. For example, if I take can I get a band-aid out? So if I take a band-aid and just, can we see, can we see? Just stick it to my arm right there. That sticks, that sticks pretty nicely. If I try to pry it up, I can a little bit, but oh, that really, really hurts. That stuck quite nicely. But if I get my arm all nice and wet, nice. Yeah, I figured against actually like injuring myself to use real blood, just figured water would suffice. And try to stick down the same type of band-aid. Can we even see that? It kind of sticks, but it sticks not quite as well. And it is <coughs> way easier to peel off the one that was stuck to dry skin than the one stuck to wet skin. And you'll also know that if you get a Band-Aid wet and it was stuck on there when it was dry, it usually does a slightly better job of sticking on there depending on the Band-Aid, but sometimes it'll also just fall off when you get a Band-Aid wet. So these typical Band-Aid adhesives, gross, are not up to the task of really sticking to a wet surface. So scientists got inspired by barnacles because Barnacle's job, their entire life job, is to stick to stuff and stay there. In fact, there are even entire industries dedicated to removing barnacles from surfaces. Well, it's a pretty, probably a really good sticky place to start. So a scientist group at MIT started studying barnacle glue and discovered a couple of things. So for one, that barnacle glue is mostly made out of proteins, which can all stick together and stick to a surface and cure to form a hard glue that sticks to things. But barnacle glue also has fats in it, and those fats repel water. We know that oil and water don't like to mix with each other, so that oil within the barnacle glue actually repels water away from the surfaces and allows those proteins to stick to a more dry surface. Isn't that like 
an ingenious way to get around trying to stick to a wet surface. I mean, this is an animal that doesn't even have like a super complex brain and it's just sticking to things left and right. Things we cannot dream of sticking to right now. So this research group at MIT combined their protein-based adhesive with some medical grade oil and they found that within 15 to 30 seconds with light pressure on wounds and rats, it stopped the bleeding, which is a great foundation for a more research into this area and potentially use for surgeries, especially where wounds bleed a lot because it's hard to, again, close up a wound that is bleeding and is a super wet and contaminated area. But this barnacle glue could provide a solution to that. Nature is wonderful and all of the different things we've been inspired by nature for biomimicry just I love learning about them and I hope you love learning these examples too. So please like this video, subscribe to my channel, check me out on Instagram. I post on Fridays and keep it sciencey.